Hey guys, Kim here, and you are tuned into Kim E, the Diabetes MP. We are back for another video as I am recording this. It is March, and if you have been watching my previous videos, I am focusing on diabetic complications, the common complications that can arise with diabetes. Now, if you have not caught my previous videos, I've made a couple of them prior to this one. I will go ahead and link those in the description box and you can go watch them after this video. But if this is something that interests you, stay tuned. We're going to be talking about diabetic neuropathy. So what is diabetic neuropathy? Now, if you manage diabetic patients, you already know that pretty much all of them have some form of diabetic neuropathy. It's a very common condition and in most cases you're going to see mild cases. Most people may have a little bit of burning, tingling, they may complain of pins and needles, some may have um, the burning sensation. I've even heard it described as having the feeling of having socks on but you don't have socks on or feeling like you have gloves on but you really don't have gloves on. Feeling like there's another layer there when there's really not another layer. Now it goes without saying that you can have neuropathy without being a diabetic, but diabetic neuropathy is the most common form of neuropathy and it actually accounts for about 50 to 75% of non-traumatic amputations. So that is a huge amount of people, okay guys? So this is something that we want to address we want to be screening our patients for and addressing in a preventative manner because we do not want this thing to progress. We don't want our patients to have amputations. That's not our end goal. We want to stop that in its tracks. So your screening, diagnosis, and treatment. Very simple here, guys. Do foot exams. When your patient comes in and you know that they're a diabetic, have them take their socks and shoes off and take a look at their feet. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing so elaborate, but of course we want to make sure that the color of their feet looks good. We want to be getting pulses, taking a look at their toenails, feeling the temperature in their feet, you know, looking for varicose veins, all these things that we can be doing just to inspect the foot, to touch the feet. Also, something else to do is to perform a monofilament test. Now, this test is very simply put is to see if they can feel light touch on the bottom of their feet. Also, get your tuning fork out and see if they can pick up the vibration sensation. Now, Doing these different tests on their feet, this lets us know if they have the protection sensations, if they can pick up those sensations that helps protect our feet, guys. Now, something else you can do, you can perform a QuantaFlow test on them or ABI. If you don't feel comfortable doing that in your office, you can always send them out to a vascular, a vascular laboratory. I mentioned that in the PAD uh, uh, video that I did recently. And then, of course, a great discipline to have on board for the patient care team is a podiatrist, a podiatrist and a neurologist. Having these relationships and them coming into you regularly, you can definitely pick up anything that could be on the rise and stop whatever is trying to progress. And lastly, we can always prescribe pain medicine. You have your gabapentin out there. You have your Lyrica as well. Um, and there's other medications. Those are the more popular ones, but some people are even on Cymbalta because off-label that is also for neuropathy as well, um, not just for depression and anxiety. But Consider prescribing medications like that. I've even heard some patients, ibuprofen is really all that they need. But you can prescribe pain medicines to alleviate that sensation as well. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope this quick video was informative and that you learned something that you didn't know. 
If you are new to my channel and you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe, ding that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. Like I said, for the month of March, because this is when I am filming this video, I am focusing on complications of diabetes. And so if you're liking this, go ahead and make sure that you definitely subscribe and ding that notification bell because you don't want to miss the videos that are coming out. And for those who have been rocking with me I appreciate you make sure that you leave a comment like and all that stuff because I love interacting with you guys I love talking back and forth with you and the last thing that I want to mention before I log off here is this we will never ever leave a nurse behind okay bye bye guys I'll catch y'all later